So this is part one of Ryujin 3.5 tutorial and in this part we're going to focus on, if you can't already tell from the title, the leg scales. So I've got a link in the description, the top of the description for this sheet and this is the leg scales in much bigger size and, and, and higher quality as well so it's easier to follow. So. Things. We don't need to look at that bit. So basically what we need to do is collapse the sides and the bottom at the same time and then with the creases that come down from the top, come in from the side and not from the bottom, we'll change the direction and connect them to each other which will allow us to collapse the scales and the wall the lie flat so we, we, we don't need to worry about any of these wee parts just now that's for when you mainly collapse all these lines but so there's a sheet this is similar to what it's like the red is mountain, the blue is valley so we collapse all the sides and tops like that and then you do the same for here and then at the bottom and then it's just making the creases, the mountain fold and the valley folds going across and diagonal to make the scales that is actually straightforward so if you want to make this easier for yourself, these mountain folds, extend them to the very end of the paper and then the same with the valley fold, right to the end of the paper and the same with these mountain and valley, mountain and valley, mountain and valley and the exact same going all the way down because it, it will help you collapse it much easier and then the same for the top, extend the mountain fold all the way to the top and then the valley folds all the way to the top. It will make it much easier, so. And because the paper is that big, it's hard to get a good angle to show you exactly what I'm going to do, so hopefully this should work. Oh, that's in focus. Yep. I'll zoom back out for a second. So when you look at the crease pattern, the lines that are lighter in colour are mountain folds and the darker lines are valley folds. So what I'm going to do is make this top mountain and valley folds first and then put that counterweight on top of the lines and then do the same for the sides and the bottom. So we're going to start off by making this mountain fold here, mountain, 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 and then valley, mountain, valley, mountain, valley, mountain, valley, and then the same here. So let's try it from this angle. And if it's not any good, just let me know in the comments, and I'll try and figure something out for the next parts. Now, what I've done is extend the creases going straight up to the other set of scales which are the correct orientation for that side as well so they've been extended straight up and here as well and then extended straight downward just a bit to that amount you, you don't need to go all the way down through the scales so it's just about halfway <coughs> and then the same again here and then the same again going to the left I've extended them all the way to the left and then just about up to here on the right. Again, it's hard to get a good angle on this because the paper's that large. Uh, back. That looks a bit fine. So again, first of all, we're going to ignore this centre bit and then just extend 
the mountain fold, valley fold, mountain fold, valley fold. Make those folds all around and just extend them to uh, as far as you made them. And the sun has to go away as well, it's hidden behind the clouds. So, out fold. Probably easier when I stand up and do this. So, make the mountain folds first. Remember, that does need to go all the way up, just extend it enough so you can then get something heavy and place on top of it to hold it in place. And then repeat it exact same on the right hand side, but I'm going to show you, so I'm not going to skip ahead. Uh, fold. So again, always use the crease pattern to help you find out which lines are what. So now that we've got these lines in place, I'm going to do the same on the side and the side and the bottom. So I'm going to try and zoom out slightly. I'll bring this down just a little bit. Again, always use this, I'm just going to show you anyway. This is the mountain fold, which I've extended all the way across, and then the valley fold. And then nothing for two, mountain fold, valley fold. Nothing for two, mountain fold, valley fold. Nothing for two, mountain fold, then valley fold. Thank 
for the beans of the just. In fact, what I'm going to actually do is, what we, we're going to do is leave this bottom part out. So we're going to, we've already made these, we're going to make these and then extend the mountain fold going up the way to connect with this mountain fold. So I'll show you on the side bit of paper. So we've made these and then when we make this mountain fold we'll extend it up and then oops. This will be a mountain fold and this will get tucked underneath behind it. So let me just try and show you quickly. It's hard to show because it's so small as paper. But basically, that mountain fold going straight down comes out. This gets tucked underneath behind it. And then it lies flat. So this mountain fold connects with this one, connects with this one. And then once they're connected, then we can make these final ones to collapse it flat. So let's just do this. So I'm going to move this back up. Yes, so as you see, I've made this one. Well, hopefully you can't see it. You probably can't see it. It's, it's, it's really hard to show the angle, but go on, focus. I've made this mountain fold. This mountain fold. Then I'm going to extend this mountain fold all the way down to connect with this mountain fold, and then make that the valley fold. And then repeat the process here, here, here. Down the bottom. Is this better with the light on? Here, I'll try that then. Try and get a better angle with the camera. So let me just show you. So how's the best way to do it? So I've made this one and this one going straight down. And then this one. That's I'll move it in for you just to show you. That's that way up, that one comes straight down to connect with this one. In fact, I'm going to bring the paper up because it's going off the table.
So now I'm going to make this mount fold and then fold it both across. And then valley fold this one. Then when you make this crease, you need to push this point inside, so you have to push it inwards. So here it's here, I'm going to push it in and then fold this across. I can fold this down, I can fold this across, that's not for long. So basically, go and focus like that. So it's tucked inside, then you can fold that one flat, that one flat, and that one basically. Then make the valley fold, just to fold this wee bit down. And then once you've did that for the first one, it's basically it's the exact same process. So for the next one, make the mountain fold going up. You'll tuck you'll tuck this part inside again, like the first one. Then bring this mountain fold down. That comes from the same point. Bring it down. Connect it with this mountain fold. Valley fold that. Valley fold that. Tuck this in. Valley fold that. Then repeat that, repeat that, and then we can start making these ones going across the way to finish you off this part. I think I forgot to say so. This row going up, in fact, it's in focus. This row that goes up that you tuck in, still not in focus, is it? There we go. This row that goes up. Is the first row you make, the first set of mountain folds, then this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And then once you've did that, that's the second row that you make. Because once these are in place, you then make the mountain fold and then fold it over to lie it flat. So we're going to make the first mountain folds going up the way first.
two, three, four, six, seven, one. Four. So I'm just trying to get the best angle to actually show you what to do and it is the proven difficult. So it is difficult, you need to try and get these ones in place first and then make the mountain fold for these ones which will help it collapse in, in, in place.
So it would be better if you did that at the same time on each side, that's why it's been difficult. So let's try and move this. So I'm basically going to do the same thing what I did here. So on the left, so I hope you can understand that. I'm going to do the same on the right. So I'm going to first of all collapse, like, like I did here, get these layers in place first, they're in place, they're in place, these need to be in place first. I'm going to do the same going down the way. So I'll we'll try to. No, in fact, I'm not.
that's what it has proven to be again. Really difficult to actually show this. But this is what it's like when you get these big parts in place, which is again these we upside down. The wee transition units. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah. So you get the mountain fold, mountain fold to put these in place. And you should end up with something like this. And then once you do, you extend this mountain fold. Again, make sure this is tucked in nice and neatly, so it lies perfectly flat. Like that. And then just repeat the process. So where are we? That one's done. These ones have place. One, two, three, four, five. Um, how does the box? Right there, right there we go. So now I've got this held in place, well nothing on it yet but I'll put something on it. These are these two are held in place, that's held in place, that's held in place. Now it's just a matter of using all this excess paper to make it lie flat. So again just keep following the crease pattern and making them going down first and then once you've done that they go across. And I apologise if it is hard to see because it really is difficult to try and show you exactly what you need to do.
now I'm actually starting to get somewhere. Oh, it's just really taking its time. And it has proven to be difficult. So. So I've just about got all the pleats in place for the left side, so let me try and turn this camera around. So now you can start to see that the creases are starting to lie in place. And once you've done the first few layers, just put, try and push it flat. So it's just 
try to show you what it's like. See, this part here is this part here. So again, just take your time when you do it. And I, and I really apologise with how I tried to show it earlier on. It's just really difficult to try and get a good angle on it. Then it's just a matter of connecting the lines down, extending it a bit more, and then that, that's when it lie flats when you've used all these creases. And that's probably too dark. So once you've got once you've got most of this in place, in order to fully make it lie flat, you need to make this mountain fold going straight across. Because that's how you can fold these parts flats, flats these part these parts flat, which are the bottom scales or the first scales of the legs. So you need to make this mountain fold going all the way along. Almost got this left side done flat, so it's just a matter of folding this part flat, folding this part flat, and then when you do that, all the excess paper pushes it out, and then you just need to put it in place. Three hours later, this is actually much harder than I anticipated. It really is. Uh, I'm still at it. On the left side, basically, then. I bet it's not mine.
something's not right here. Not perfect, but that will do. That will do. So once you've collapsed the first part of the scales, you should end up with something like this. And it all lies flat once you collapse it correctly. And then once you've did it here, repeat the, the exact same process at the top as well, or at the bottom depending on which one you started with. So again, extend the creases going out from the sides and then the tops, and then just collapse as you did here. Then you'll have that. Again, it's the exact same, it's going to lie flat. Just like the first one. Right, let's get, let's drink at a good angle first. Right.
Right, the first thing you want to do in shaping them is make sure it's lying flat first. We'll start with the top one just as an example. So lift up this top layer, and then you've got this wee flap. You want you want to fold this basically down. Basically make a valley fold from the the centre of it down to about here. Because this is going to make the, the shape of the scales. So let me just see. Like that. Then make the crease strong. So you should have something like that. I'll show you again. So we start off with something like this. Lift it up. Fold this over. And fold it down. So we've got that. And then we do the same thing on the other side, so on the left of it, but as you notice this part is locked and, and locked inside this layer, so we need to grab the left side, then grab these layers and then pull out. Just be very careful. Use my hands. Just once it's all the way out like that, just make the mountain fold again. end up with some with something like that and then the same again you want to grab this right side and pull up in fact we're going, we're, we're going to want to pull out this layer again this side because there's two layers and this part and we only want to fold through one so again Take this part and pull it out again. Again, be very careful. It could rip. It's the last thing I want. I want to show it. So you should end up with something like that, I'm going to show you from this side. Like that. And now we can fold this right hand side up like we did on this side. And again you want to make it the exact same. So if this part is, if this part came down to here, you want it to be level. So I'm going to do it. something like that. I can lift this part up. And now basically it's repeating that process for every single one first, but I'm just going to do a few more and then flip it over and then I'll show you how to shape them. So I'm not sure about this one because that's tucked underneath. In fact, I'll pull this one out first. Mm -hmm. 
this is the part that's going to take the most, this is the most time consuming part, probably of the whole model. Because there is a ton of scales. Remember, you've only got this amount of scales on the shoulders. You've got 50 times more on the actual body, so it takes a lot of time. So I'm going to pull out all the layers on this row, then this row, and then do the exact same here. I'm just so nervous every single time I unlock the paper, it just feels as like if it's going to rip. And I'm praying that it doesn't. But again, when you do this, take your time, you've got all the time in the world. You don't need to do it all in one day. There's no rush whatsoever. But a nuisance this one. There we go. Still not perfect. No, I'll fix it later on. Alright, so now I've done this row, now I can do the exact same that I did here. So I need to, where is it, here, it's here. Pull up. on this side. Like that. Oh, there it comes undone. So you need to make sure that when you valley fold this over, hold it in place and then push down so it actually stays in place. It doesn't come undone slightly when you fold it over. This one. Hold it in place, push down. See it comes slightly on them. There. And then the same here. For those ones, oh, this one as well. And then 
the same here. Yeah. And then I'm going to repeat the process on this row, this row, this row, and this row. Bad crease. Stay where you are. There we go. Bad crease, you know, stay when you are. Few more.
half. Chris, why you got to ruin this for me? Put the camera back in another position. It's more difficult like that. Finally, the last box. Hold it.
that I just formed. Two more. That's probably the messiest out of all the two. Or just that one. Or the, the last one. Yeah, why is that like that? There we go, so I don't actually know if you shape these top ones or if you can. And if you unsunk that, good if I pull that out, I'd get rid of that sink, make that mountain full. No, I'm not sure. I'm going to look at it. Right, once you've did this, go and focus. You've got all the layers like this. See how they're all, you've got all the valley folds in place. This is what you should have when you're finished. I don't think I've missed this one. No, no it's just hiding. Now what we want to do is flip the paper over and then we'll shape them. So the ones on the left are the ones that we've just did. As you can see there's a big difference. It's completely locked together. Well this one is still loose. So we'll focus on this one. Let's zoom in. That's fine. And I've also got my GoPro angle as well. Hopefully this should help you out. Or even just a better angle. Yeah, I, need, I really need another pair of tweezers. In fact, now we're going to find another pair of tweezers first. In fact, I'll just, uh, just continue. So basically what we want to do now is these layers are completely locked together. You basically want to do the exact same we just did. But pull out paper. So we need to pull out excess paper. So try to find the best one to start. Probably the easiest to start. Right, just. Probably the easiest to start, just at the side, just to show you one. So this is where I get really nervous. So we've got here, we want to hold here and then pull out. Be gentle. So there we go. I, I just felt the snap. So I know the paper is completely out. And now we want to fold it over the valley folds that we made in the first part or earlier on. Let's 
see the rings. So I'll try that. I'm just going to lift the paper over just to see. So that's that one we just did. Yeah, we will move the tweezers. So it did work, which is right here, but there's still not enough paper. We need to pull more paper inwards to get the actual definition of the scale. So we need to pull and it is really difficult so you just need to be careful and take your time when you're doing it when you're doing it. I can see the line that I need to bring the paper over to, but it's difficult actually doing it. No, that's not right. Check that, it's probably not right. Mm. Getting there. The paper needs to be pushed out at the bottom. Number two, two, two. Right, so if that first method doesn't work for you, what you can do is open it up. Put them in. I'm going to take camera. No, I'm not. So, get your finger, open it up, and then where that valley fold was, you need to make that a mountain fold. and then you sink that paper inside. So it's like that. Could go in a wee bit more.
so it's just like that basic one. Hopefully you can see that okay. So I'm going to flip over and try it again the actual proper way that you're supposed to do it. Try this one next to it. So again, pull out the paper. In fact, I'll grab it here instead. I've got that. Now you can see the crease that I've made in the first part, right here. This needs to be a valley fold. So that went actually neatly, so let me just check. Again, it still needs to come in more. Ah, oh, this is so annoying, it's so difficult. And then I'm going to do it with this one as well. So pull it out. So I've just did it for this one I believe it is, what's that one? And it actually turned out perfect for once, right here. So that's one, two. And hopefully you can see that alright. So I'm going to try it again. So like that. Now let me check it. That. What was the inside one? That was it. Thank you. 
Not anymore. So that's basically the idea. You pull out. Just make sure. Yeah, let's see that. You pull out the paper. Fold it over. That actually went perfect that time. So let's do it again. Pull out the paper. This one gone is easy, easy this one. And this is the bag.
Right, so I finally did it with all of them. This is the, the second time I've actually shaped them before, legitimately, so let's see how they turn out. Well, let me turn this camera off and I'll flip, I'll flip the paper. So this is what we started with in the beginning, and this is what I've ended up with. Not the best, but not great. I'm sure I, I can clean them up later on. I've, I've missed a few at the bottom, but... Actually, it's, oh, it's actually much better than my first attempts. It's just so difficult. It really is. I, I don't know how people do it so cleanly. But I'm actually so happy with that. I should be able to clean it up better on later. But anyway guys, I, I hope you're able to fold this or get up to here at this point. And thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe.